you have squint lines. It doesn't matter. I don't care. <laughs> All right, today, what are we doing today? We're putting this up because I've been seeing owls around here. Yeah. That fencing that we put up, um, the deer fencing we put on the top, we are now going to put around the sides because like we showed you guys before, these are pretty good size holes in the fence, which we knew that when we put it up. Yeah. But we were, uh, we got this wire for free and we were too cheap to go out and buy chicken wire. Um, so this is our fix for it. We're going to hang this stuff up on here, this deer fence, just to keep the owls out. Yeah. We got an owl that keeps hanging out. Right there. Right on one of those mesquite trees. Um, and he keeps watching over this way, so we know what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, he's watching our chickens. And we don't want them to be owl food, so. No, we already had a cat become owl food. Owl food. What? month ago mm -hmm. so not a good not a good death for the animal no. the way the owls kill them so anyway um that's what we're gonna be today or doing today right? <laughs> yeah i can't talk either she's freezing it's cold this morning it's like 50 degrees today yeah i'm i'm freezing she's freezing so um we're gonna put this up and then i'm gonna try to get this thing All right, we got the what the metal on the bottom painted. There it is. We didn't paint the wood and the metal in the back. We painted a lighter color. Why? Yes, it does. Just to change that. Yeah. Done with that now. I think we're done with everything I now think, on the I chicken think house. We're done. Yeah. Yeah. We still got a freeloader. We're only getting two chickens a, or two we were getting three eggs a day. And they've cut back to two eggs a day. Yeah. So they're But we being got one loaders. yesterday that was like double. Ooh, it was yeah. huge. I'll post a picture of that so you can see that. <laughs> it's huge. It fit like literally the whole palm of my hand. Yeah. Which it was big. You don't have very big hands. So that's not saying yeah, a lot. It is big. But anyway, yeah. So we're only, we've only been getting two chicken or two eggs a day. But everybody says that's still pretty good considering it's winter. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess they don't lay eggs as great in the winter time because they don't get as much sun we're just looking around for our dog oh she's, she's down there nice. um so yeah on the chicken house i think that's it right mm -hmm. and we are going to get our hyperdobe bags ordered this week uh, yeah probably monday um i don't know if you guys watch them or not but tiny shiny home here on youtube 
we actually went over last, last weekend, weekend and was kind of helping them a little bit mainly we were sifting dirt let's be honest and handing dirt to them while they were filling well, their bags we didn't want to get in their way because they think they would they had a routine and we didn't want to slow them down so yeah. we just did stuff that we knew would help but not slow them down yeah kind of one of those deals yeah but anyway uh jonathan and ashley gave us the information on where they got their hyper adobe bags i believe it's out of is it racine wisconsin, wisconsin somewhere. yeah somewhere up in wisconsin i think it was racine um so we're gonna get those ordered on monday and then i've still got to get my boss out here to get our foundation dug because we're not going to dig it by hand because it's we're, we're either going to be 30 by 40 or 30 by 30. 30 by 30 we haven't decided yet but there's still quite a few things that we need to do to prep yeah so we got to get the clothesline moved back we have to pull some of those mesquites out of the way there's there's quite a bit quite a bit of that's stuff that's all stuff he's going to do when he comes out with his um back home um, but my boss actually puts in septic also so we've talked to him and he's going to come out and help us out with that with digging the foundation that should wrap up our little series on the chicken coop finally i mean it took a while but yeah but they're safe they're safe no there is one other thing we, we gotta have to do get the wire down around there. yeah the one last thing we gotta do is get wire around the bottom here we have the wire we just haven't done it yet the hope is we can keep snakes out too, but I don't know if that's going to even be possible. Mm -hmm. We're trying to fill in like all these little holes and things like that. But, you know, there's so many places I could get in. Well, we had a mouse in there the other day, so I think if a mouse can get in, a snake can. Yeah, we did have a mouse out here in this run. Yeah. It wasn't in the house, no. but it did get into the run. I think they're safe. So they're safe in the house. We have more of this stuff here. This, It's like wire. Mm -hmm. It's solid. It's not like regular fencing. It's solid stuff. And we're gonna put that around the bottom there um, because if something does go under there, they can actually get into that other area. I think that's it for the chicken house. Hopefully it'll warm up and we can be out here longer during the day. Yeah. It's cold. Yeah. All right, that's it for now. Can you see the pain on Karen's tail? Oh, Larry's got some. She had to get involved. Larry's got, Larry's got pain on him. The right side of the back. Yeah. They all decided to get involved in the painting, well, so. Karen tried to eat the paint, so she's got some on her beak, too. Yeah. Karen's got it all over. She dipped her beak in some paint that one of us dropped anyway. She thought it was food. <laughs>